As the stoichiometric ratios get more complicated, the algebra in these problems can be a little bit more daunting, but the fundamental concepts remain the same. Let's look at this example. I want to know the maximum concentration of the barium ions in a saturated solution of barium phosphate. If we want the KSP, we need to be given the concentration. If we want the concentration, we need the KSP. So let's find the KSP value for barium phosphate. Barium phosphate has a really low KSP value. It has a KSP of 6 times 10 to the negative 39. So that's become the pattern here. Let's start with our equation. Barium phosphate is Ba3PO42 solid dissociating into three barium ions, so Va2+, plus, which would be aqueous, and two phosphate ions, also aqueous. And as we've seen, these are reversible. So that means my Ksp equals the concentration of the barium ions cubed times the concentration of the phosphate ions squared. And we've looked up this KSP and found it to be 6 times 10 to the negative 39. In our previous problems, we went to find the concentration of the solute, and we called that X. So we can follow that same pattern here. Let's call the barium phosphate X. That means the barium with a 3 to 1 ratio is going to be 3X, and the phosphate will have to be 2X. So now we can plug those values into my KSP expression. I can say 6 times 10 to the negative 39 equals 3x cubed times 2x squared. And again, this looks weird because you are tripling something and cubing it at the same time, doubling something and squaring it at the same time. It looks redundant. But remember, we're doing two different things. We're doing stoichiometry and we're doing equilibrium. So the 1 to 3 to 2 ratio comes from the stoichiometry and the exponents come from the equilibrium. So now we have to simplify this. I have 6 times 10 to the negative 39 equals, well, 3x cubed is the same thing as 27x cubed and 2x squared is really 4 times x squared. So this whole term equals 108x to the fifth power. So if I solve for x, I get the value of 8.89 times 10 to the negative 9. And again, that's a concentration, so that's going to be molar. But x is representing the barium phosphate. The question is asking for the barium. So 3x is going to equal 2.7 times 10 to the negative 8 molar. So that's going to be my concentration of barium ions, which is a shockingly small concentration. But barium phosphate is really, really, really insoluble. It only takes 2.7 times 10 to the negative 8 moles in every liter of solution to saturate it. And that should make sense with the plus 2 and the minus 3 charges. This stuff does not dissolve in water very readily.